Hey guys, I guess we found out why Seattle and San Francisco are supposedly supposed to be at least one in finishing at least one or two in the NFC West this year. A lot of people were counting on San Francisco. Can you blame them? Because of the, the way they play defense too, and the way Kaepernick was a uh, ball in the first game. But Seattle showed why they're the team. Don't don't sleep on them. Don't forget on them. I don't want to say sleep on them because they handled business last year against San Francisco and they did it again tonight. I mean, they just they walloped San Francisco. But you know, when you get five turnovers, that's what's going to happen. And then you're playing in Seattle, one of the loudest places in the NFL. It's kind of funny because I was trying to turn my TV down. I just I was here. I am looking at the internet and listening to the game. And this when uh, San Francisco's office was on Seattle crowds is so loud out there so they were out there getting rowdy big time and that really helped the Seahawks big time too especially uh as always playing tremendous defense but they got pretty much very solid defense too and they're going to have to be that division alone because you got quarterbacks like obviously Kaepernick and you got Carson Palmer now being in there and uh, Sam Bradford you, you can say, well, okay, the Cardinals and Rams are not really that much of a factor, but, you know, uh, don't forget it, uh, about how Carson Palmer, now he was playing back in his Bengals days, too, and he has a receiver like Fitzgerald, and then Sam Bradford, if he gets those young receivers clicking, too, he can be a dangerous as well. So that's why that I thought, personally, before the season even got started on paper, NFC West was the toughest division in the NFL, but I'm not too sure right now, and it's, we're only two games to the season, it's hard to tell, so we're just going to just let them play out, that's again, that's why they keep on saying any given Sunday, because it's always tough to tell just the first two games, really even the first four games, because there's going to be some team that's going to get hot and just ride it out into the playoffs, uh, they're going to get hot and in the regular season. We saw that last year with the Bay, uh, with the Broncos. They uh, started out kind of shaking, and they won, I think it was 10 games or 11 games in a row. They didn't win a playoff game, but I'm just saying this is the way they ended the season. They went hot and just kept it high. And then uh, you get teams like Baltimore last year that just got hot at the right time. So, again, way too early to tell. Right now, you can tell also, too, if you've been paying attention to what the, the rule changes it's getting real pass happy in the NFL. You can see a lot of these quarterbacks used to be a little bit difficult to get 300 yards passing. Now it's like almost every quarterback, even if you're winning or losing, even if you're getting blown out, getting 300 yards passing. Now, of course, you're getting blown out because the defense just took the pedal off the gas, too. But still, it didn't always used to be the case. I remember about, eh, I want to say about a decade ago. So it's kind of interesting right now how it's, uh, these rules are really changing. Just to really get the offenses going because of all the the stuff or the hits or whatever. So, again, going back to that um, Seattle uh, 49ers defense, I know I talked about it on my blog. You can check out it on my first uh, website underneath this video. But I think it's becoming starting to become one of the most fierce rivalries in the NFL. It's starting to kind of remind me of a Baltimore-Pittsburgh rivalry. They got that. They both got that type of intense defense, but both of those teams can light you up on the scoreboard. So, uh, you know, it's, we just have to sit back and just check this out too. I know a lot of people are saying that uh, NFL is going to pick up on that read option. No, because now you got to account for a quarterback running, which you don't always do if you're a defensive coordinator planning that and in, uh, in the game plan on top of running about the other positions. So it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really interesting. I'm not jumping on any bad wagons. I'm just pressed just how fierce this rivalry and this is how that game, this that particular game between the Hawks and Niners normally is. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later.